Hello and welcome to Class Nutrition Step YouTube channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of serverless architecture and build a fully serverless web application using cloud formation. We'll be leveraging AWS Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, and S3, all orchestrated and deployed automatically using cloud formation. By the end of this video, you have a fully functional serverless web application and a deeper understanding of how to automate AWS infrastructure with cloud formation. Before we jump into the technical details, let's talk about the project we'll be building today. We'll create a basic serverless web application that allows users to interact with backend resources without the need for a traditional server setup. Here is how our architecture look like, right here. So the architecture of this serverless web application consists of the following components. Amazon S3, which holds the static website file like the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then the AWS Lambda that contains the backend logic to interact with DynamoDB, and then the API gateway which exposes the Lambda function as RESTful APIs and then the DynamoDB which stores the application data. We will define all these resources in a CloudFormation template which will automate the entire process. So here is our CloudFormation template that will automate the process for us. So right here, you can see the resource block right here, creating the S3, the DynamoDB, the Lambda functions and the policies, you can see that right there. And then we have the API gateway right here. And then we have our output, which we will need. So I'll make the link to this GitHub repository available after this video. So you can also use it to follow this lesson step by step. I've also created the world documented with me that will guide you step by step to follow this project. So for you to have access to the entire code for this project, you clone this repository right here, which you are going to be using. So once you clone this repository, you have access to the readme, you have access to the YAML file, and then you have access to the index.html file that I've created here that are going to be using for this project. So the next step now is to go to our AWS console to go and set up our cloud formation. So the next step now is deploy the cloud formation stack. So in the cloud formation template, it already defined all the resources needed for our application. So that the template is, is already defined our S3 bucket, like I showed you earlier on, the DynamoDB table, the Lambda functions, and then the API gateway. So let's move to deploying our cloud formation template to create all the resources. All right, so now AWS console will go to cloud formation. So in cloud formation, we want to create stack. Click on create stack. So right here, you choose that existing template because remember I already created one right here. So I have the one I'm going to use, which is this. So I'll choose existing. And then I'll click on right here, upload a template file. So the next thing now, I'll choose the file. So we have our cloud formation template right here. I'll upload it to next. And for the stack name, let's give it serverless app stack. Do next. Let's go ahead. Do next. And then just go through review. Check properly here to make sure it's what you want. Right there, click on I acknowledge right here. And then submit. So AWS Cloud Formation will now create all the resources defined in the template. 
So this may take a few minutes, so be patient. So once the stack creation is complete, all our resources will be available. So I'll pause the video and come back once the stack creation is completed. All right, so we can see right here when we initiated and then create in progress DynamoDB table, API Gateway, REST API, S3. You can see the creation, the process going on. All right, so it's done. It says create complete. So if we click on resources right here. We should see all the resources that was created. The CloudFormation template created for us an S3 bucket with this name right here, Lambda function with this name, execution role with this name, uh, DynamoDB table with this name, and then our API gateway. So you can see, so everything that was mentioned here in our architecture, the CloudFormation has already created everything for us. So we have everything right there. So the next thing now, we need to go into that S3 bucket and go and upload our file. So from here, we can just open it from here. It takes us directly to the S3 bucket. After the cloud formation stack is created, we need to upload our static file to the S3 bucket created by the cloud formation. So let's go to the location where we have the file. I have one right here. Let's upload. All right, successfully uploaded. So now that we have uploaded our index.html file, let us test it. Open. All right. Welcome to Cloud Solutions Tech Serverless App Project. All right. But this is not where we are going yet. So the next thing that we need to do now is to set the permission for this bucket. So the first thing that we are going to do, let's go to permissions. So right here, let's edit. Click on save, confirm. And then the next step is to update our bucket policy that we are going to be using for this project. So I'll click on edit. So right here, you know, I read me, I already put a bucket policy that we are going to be using. So I'll just copy and paste. And right here, I'm going to update the bucket ARM. So I'm just going to take this part out. I'll just update. So after updating your bucket policy, we are good to go. You can go ahead and save. All right, our bucket policy is saved. So the next step right here, after saving our bucket policy, so we've gone through all this part. So the next thing now, we need to update the index.html file to call the API. So the HTML file that is provided in this repository right here, this one right here, this is the one we are going to be using. So I already put an example right here. So now if you look at the instruction right there, update the index.html file to use the API invoke URL from the CloudFormation output. So we need to go to the CloudFormation output to go and get that. So go to our cloud formation. We go to output. So this is the URL right here. API invoke URL. If you also want to confirm, you can go into your API gateway. So let me duplicate the screen. And this is the API that we created. You click on API and then you go to dashboard. You also have your URL right here. So if you look at it, this invoke URL right here. And then the stage is production pro and the one that we have in the cloud formation output. They are the same thing. You can see starting from B5 XQ. Right there, the same thing B5 XQ. So that is what we need to do. So, so this is what we need to update in our index.html file, which brings us to the next step, 
to verify the application so to verify what we have done first we need to access the bucket url so right here the bucket url we can also add it from here as well but before we access the bucket url let us update our index.html file first and then we'll be able to do that so to update the index.html file to call our api i will have to go back to my terminal and then update the index.html file so i have it right there that's my index.html file here is the part that we need to edit So I also put instruction right here, replace with the actual URL from cloud formation output. So like I said, you can get it from the cloud formation output or go to the API, go to the dashboard, you have it here as well. So whichever one you want to use, you will get it from there. So let me copy. Go back to our code. Date. All right, so that's all we need to do. Let's save. And then we'll go back to our bucket object. We're going to upload the latest version of our index.html. All right, so we have successfully updated the index.html file so now you should be able to call the api at the beginning of this video i mentioned that our architecture that we're going to have four things so we have seen the s3 which the cloud formation created for us right here and then also the lambda well, let's go let's duplicate the screen all right so you can see right here that I also created the Lambda function for us. And then also the API gateway, which I showed you earlier on. This is the API gateway. And then the Dynamo DB. So let's also duplicate and go to the Dynamo DB. So you can see that that was also created as well. All right. So you can see our Dynamo DB table was also created. So everything that we want our cloud formation template to do will work exactly as expected. So now that we have updated the index.html file to call the API, so now we go to this step now to verify the application you know, for what we have actually done to make sure it's working as expected. So let's go to our cloud formation. So in the output, to go to the output, you see this one right here, website URL. So you click on this website URL to open your web application. All right. So it works as expected. Serverless web application using cloud formation template. So it works as expected. So we'll be able to verify what we have done. So the next step in the verification now is to verify the functionality ensure that the web application loads correctly which we have confirmed it loads correctly it works as expected so the next step verify that the api calls to dynamodb works as expected by interacting with the web application so we already saw our dynamodb table so we know that it's working as expected and we've also verified right here that our application works perfect so by following these steps you have successfully automated the deployment of your serverless web application using AWS CloudFormation, Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, and S3. So the next step now is for us to do a cleanup. So to clean up the resources created by this project, we have to delete the CloudFormation stack. So to delete the CloudFormation stack, we just go back to start right here. And then we'll click on delete. And then right there, we want to confirm delete. So the process to delete has also started. So you can come here to the event and see how the deletion process is going. So you can see this is where we started the deletion process. All right, so it's in progress. 
So if you see something like this, says delete failed, don't worry, just go back to the stack again and then do retry delete. So right here, it wants to delete the bucket. So you click on that. First delete the entire stack. So once you click on first delete the entire stack, you click on delete and then just go back to events. You see everything has started again. So it will start deleting everything for you. So once you force it, the deletion process will start. All right. So this readme file that I've provided here, you know, provide a clear and detailed uh, guide to set up this project. So I also put additional link right there. So for those of you that want to dive deeper into topics covered in this video, like the AWS Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, S3 Cloud Formation. So this link will take you directly to those uh, topics. So to recap, today we built a fully serverless web application using AWS Lambda, API Gateway, DynamoDB, and S3. We automated the creation of our resources using AWS Cloud Formation, making the deployment process efficient and repeatable. So this architecture is scalable, cost-effective, and easy to manage. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any question or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.